um this is my first and youtube video and i just opened this in channel for uploading in youtube and we are uploading and take content on this youtube channel so i want to welcome you all to my youtube channel so in today's tutorial we are going to host a reactjs application on on um, cpanel using a name chip you can use any hosting provider like hosting or anything normally of all the youtube tutorials that i have seen online on youtube over here they normally show you how to host your application on cloud servers like um, heroku firebase um aws uh, the digital ocean and the negative five but you can also be able to host your application on cpanel so today i'm going to be putting you through step by step on how to do that you can see this is my own portfolio over here i've designed it's looking beautiful and we are going to carry this portfolio design in react.js and we are going to carry this portfolio and then uh, post it on Heroku. post it on cpanel i mean to say sorry on cpanel and then uh, we'll be doing it one step after the other well um this is my first youtube channel youtube video just like i said earlier on so please uh, like subscribe to my youtube and share it with your friends to learn one thing or the other so um you can see this beautiful application over here built with animations added and uh, we are going to be we take this application and host it on um, we take this application and host it on C panel so let's get started you can see it is currently on local host so i'm going to take it and host it on C panel so that you can be able to access it live so first of all open your, your vs code or your a code editor of your choice that you are using this one that i'm using is vs code so when you open your VS Code, this is my React application. I've already opened the project. By the way, if you want to create React, if you are familiar with um, React, is you know that how to open your command and run NPS create React app. So I've created the app. I've already built the app, and I want to host it on cPanel. So when you open your application, the number one step you need to host, you need to do to host your application on cPanel is to go inside public directory, inside your projects and um create a new file known as dot ht access dot ht access i've already created a file so when you create a file you can see this is the configuration that you need to add into this uh, file over here don't worry if you don't know this you cannot and see this configuration very well i'm going to add a link down in the description so that you can easily access this um, configuration download it to your own pc or to your own system and um, add it to your own real project as well so after you have added dot ht access and added this configuration now the next step is to go to package.js so you can see package.js over here so when you go to package.js and there is no this key key in the um, json file of home page add this key known as home page and then get the domain name of your website where you want to host this particular application you can see I've added this domain name already, PeterKevinTorvay.g. This is my own domain name that I've already purchased and linked to my name chip and server that I'll be hosting this application. So once you've added this homepage key and you've added this, now we proceed. You need to build this application for production because you know in ReactJS, once you create application, is in the development mode. They have to build it for production. So you now navigate to your CMD or your command line prompt and then uh, you now run npm run build and you hit enter so this will create a production ready version of this and um, project for you but i've already done that and you can see within my own and project over here you can see the build directory if you have not run that and um, command you cannot see this build directory that is over here so once you have done that so since i've already done that I will now go to my file explorer. I want to what I, I need to do is um I need to go and see this folder so that I can be able to upload it to myself. So um, let's see how we can be able to do that. So let's go to my file explorer. So let me open my file explorer.
So my first brother is open. So let me locate the project where I have stored the project. So, so. See the project directory over here, so um, portfolio, and then inside the build folder, I'm going to go inside it and then highlight everything by pressing Ctrl or A if you're on Windows. If you're on Windows, you press Ctrl A and um, I'll highlight everything. After I've highlighted, I will now zip the file. If you're using FireZilla, it is still nice. You can be able to provide it. You'll be able to move your file to your local, to your remote server. It is going to be okay. So, since I have um, highlighted it, I'm going to. The system is now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and zip it Add, click on add to archive. By the way, if you don't have WinRAR installed on your system, you can use WinRAR. Like the application I'm using is WinRAR. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add to archive. So on add to archive, it will ask me whether I want to use um, .ra or .zip. But the one that I'll be using over here is .zip file extension. So I'll select this one zip so an access to you can configure this but I'll just click leave the default setting and access to zip my file. So you can see it has zip and drop it in drop in build directory. So from here now I can now go to log into my name chip account. So if you have account, the hosting provider I'm using in this video is Namecheap and if you can log in through your main uh, main chip account from here, once you log into your dashboard, you can click and go to cPanel. So I'm already on under cPanel now. So from cPanel here, you go to file manager because that is where you'll be uploading your file so that people can be able to access it. So from here, I'll go for five search for file manager. Click on it. I want to navigate the file manager to upload my project that I have built. So I like to load. So you can see my cPanel has loaded my home directories and um, from here I can go ahead and um, look for the directory I want to upload this project. So it depends like if you, are, you just bought the this hosting plan which is shared hosting that I'm using over here. If you just bought it, you may want wish to host your application in the public directory. So in that case, you can just... Um, search for public directory and um, and then upload your files and then from there you can be able to host your application but it's like me and i've been using this and um this um, plan for all my projects like i prefer hosting all my projects under one server so i've created a special directory for this application known as based on the project name which is peter kevin Dovell. My real name since it's my own portfolio. So within this um, project directory, you can see I already have some other files inside. So I'm going to go ahead, select everything, and um, trash it. So and delete. So skip. Then so once everything is empty, if you have created a new directory, it will be totally empty. But once everything is empty, click on if you are within cPanel, click on upload. So it will open new window window for you to upload your project. But if you some if some person may be using FireZilla to upload their files and only like so click on select file. 
So click on select file. So it will open your file explorer for you to select the projects or to select the file you wish to upload to your server. So once it has opened for you, you can now go ahead and locate where you have built that project and um, submit. So like over here, I'm going to go inside build because it was in the build that I built the, the, the project. Look at the file where it's just 3.88 and MB. So I'll select it and click on open. So I'm going for it to upload to that man directory that I've selected under my file explorer. And see it is uploading. Let's wait for it to upload. So after it has uploaded, you can see it has um, changed to green to show you that it's successful. So I will click on this thing to go back to that directory. So once I've come back to the directory, you can see the file showing over here. I will select it. Make sure you click on it so it so that it will show you the options at the top and click on extract. So I'll click on extract and it will ask me do you do I want to extract the files in this directory? I will say yes, extract files. So it will extract the files. So you can see I can go ahead and close this window. So once I've done that, now I've already linked my domain name to my server, so I can now go ahead and try to access this um, project. You can go ahead if you wish. You can go ahead and delete this and zip folder by selecting it and then clicking on delete. Escape, delete. So your files have been uploaded already. So I'm going to navigate to that directory and to the domain name to a new tab and open the domain name and then try to search for that domain name that i've added under the home page my package adjustment when i was about configuring this project for uploading so it was um, peter mm -hmm. peter peter clouding down probably you can see the link i've suggested for me over here so i'm going to click on it and guys see it's taking time to look for the first time because I deleted the old version and it has to catch this one so a subsequent and visit will be faster so you can see my site is looking pretty well just the way it was displaying on uh, just the way it was displaying on uh, on localhost so you can see everything is looking perfectly fine and, um, and uh, you can see as well. so thank you guys this is how you can be able to simply host your own uh, Node.js application on the, um, on the cPanel and then have it displayed in the browser and you can go ahead and send a link to anyone to see your um, your site so thank you very much for today's tutorial like I told you and this is my first take video on this channel and I'm pleading with you guys to help me get 1,000 subscribers. Just like, subscribe and comment. Let me know if you don't understand anything. For the link for the .ht access, I'm going to provide it in the description. So that if you need it, you can easily have access to it, grab it, add it to your ReactJS application and uh, upload it to your own um, cPanel. So as simple as that, the plan that the package that we use for this is and shared hosting on um, Namecheap. Namecheap is a hosting um, provider, so they can as well give you. Uh, you can subscribe to that and then do your application. So you can see everything is working perfectly fine. So thank you. See you in the next video.